Put down that fruit tray and grab yourself a box of pasta because we're making something that people actually appreciate at cookouts. I'm talking easy bacon parmesan pasta salad. I don't even need to describe it any further because the first three words are an automatic win. Best thing is you're just dumping everything into a bowl and letting it chill for a few hours. How much easier does it get than that? Starting out, we need some pasta. I've just got this box of tri-colored rotini. You can use bow ties, penne, elbow macaroni, whatever pasta you want. I just went with this mostly for the color for presentation, but also wanted something that would hold our salad ingredients, and those little corkscrews are perfect. So into a pot full of chicken stock for extra flavor, these go, and just boil them to package instructions. I think this was about eight minutes. Give them a wash in cold water after you're done cooking and set them aside. More on that later. For now, let's hit these veggies. This is another one of those recipes that's perfect for practicing your knife skills. So I've got one stalk of celery finely diced up, then I'm dicing up about three sides of a red bell pepper. You could do the whole thing if you want to, but I just saved that one last side to go with my breakfast scramble. Next, because tomatoes are in season, I've got this medley of tomatoes. I don't know if they're all considered cherry tomatoes, but I mostly got it for the color. Maybe these are more baby heirlooms, I don't know, it was just cool and fancy. And tomatoes are at their best right now between May and October, so it's only right to throw some fresh ones in this salad. I think I did about a three-fourths cup of these, and I've seen those tricks where you put the small tomatoes sandwiched between like two plates and then you can cut them all with one knife swipe. And you can do that, I think I've done it a few times and there was some success there, but I'm not in a rush. And the longer I take, the more I can sip today's poor choice, which is this Cali Rosé by 19 Crimes. It was a beautiful warm day and I felt like something cold and crisp was called for. Back to the chopping. We're going to finally dice up one whole shallot. You can use a red onion if you like, but I really enjoy shallot and any chance to use one, I will. Lastly, we'll chop up one bundle of green onions, only using the green parts, but don't throw that white part away. There's a lot of good onion flavor in there that you can use later for sauteing, say to go in one breakfast scramble like I mentioned earlier. We'll also cook up a pack of bacon and chop it up too. Now I took my bacon a little further than I normally would because there's this sweet spot just before burn where the bacon is still good but hella smoky and I wanted to bring some smoke elements into this dish since it's for a cookout. If you don't want to risk ruining a pack of bacon I totally understand but this was just something I was very happy with. Get all those veggies and bake it into a bowl then we'll add anywhere between a three-fourths cup and one cup of mayonnaise depending on how creamy you like your pasta salad to be. Definitely get you a good quality mayonnaise. I'm using Duke's here. It is the glue for this recipe so we definitely don't want to go into some cheap weird unknown stuff. Then we need half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of celery seed and don't skip this it's important flavor and I say this as someone who doesn't really like celery even though I definitely chopped up some earlier we'll also add in 1 4 teaspoon of black pepper 1 tablespoon of white sugar 2 tablespoons of olive oil 1 tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and half a cup of grated parmesan lastly we'll add in our washed pasta and the reason for that is to get the starch off of it so this dish doesn't clump together some people say don't wash the pasta but honestly I've been doing this out of habit and uh, my salad has never clumped so there you go Maybe one day I'll do a side by side. Mix all that up really well. And if you have a silicone spatula like this, that'll be great because it's gentle on the ingredients and you won't be mashing anything. Then let's taste and see what we're missing. I already knew it was gonna need more salt. Most of the time pasta salad needs more salt, but I wanted to wait till everything was combined because the saltiness of that bacon and Parmesan will be there. So not overdoing it before combining was the preferred way. And I decided to add a good pinch of this smoked salt. Regular sea salt is fine, but like I mentioned earlier, I wanna bring some fun cookout elements to this. I also added in just a little bit more Parmesan because I I like Parmesan. Taste it till it's to your liking, which I really like this because I ate like five samples of this. Then our pasta just needs to sit in the fridge covered for at least two hours. The longer you go, the better it'll taste. And that's it, pasta salad with bacon and Parmesan. When serving this, I'd suggest doing a double bowl method if you're gonna be outdoors. So take a large bowl filled with just ice and then put this bowl on top to keep it cold because nothing will turn your stomach upside down faster than some mayo that's been out in the sun all day. Hey everybody, this is Poor Choices Kitchen. We have a Patreon link down in the description. One dollar a month is all we ask for to pay for recipes in these here inflated times. I don't know what I wanna say after these here inflated times pass. Probably ask for more money. And we also have YouTube memberships. Those are $2.99 because YouTube likes to take its cut. Both go a long way in just helping keep this channel going. And I hope you enjoyed this the side. I think next week I'm going to do another uh, cookout side because honestly sides are like my favorite part of cookouts. Of course the meats are great, burgers, hot dogs, wings, but man I could just fill a whole plate up with like beans and pasta salad, macaroni and cheese, all that good stuff. So enjoy and I'll see you all back here next week.